Good afternoon, everybody. Boy, do we have a lot to get through today. I've just come back from the hairdressers. The swishy hair is not my own doing. I'm really enjoying it though. I've actually gone a little bit lighter. I don't know if you can tell. Let me step back, I'll see if you can see. I don't know if you'll be able to tell because it's got a fresh toner on it. So it's extra dark. So it lightens up basically once I wash it, but I won't be washing it for a little while. But yeah, I've just had some more highlights added in toner have my roots down which is fab i do have hair dye all around my face though so do excuse that yeah so i spent the morning at the hairdressers i was running very late so i couldn't take you with me which is so annoying because i do really want to do that because i get so many of you asking what we do to it in all honesty i think just taking an unedited video of me like now into your hairdresser is probably the best thing because lots of people ask for the exact like numbers and things like that but if your base is different to mine you're going to end up with a very different <laughs> color so um yeah my base is really really ashy but goes really warm so we do like some very specific stuff to that and i do have it maintained very very regularly so i don't always know if i'm the best person to speak to about it but basically i have highlights run all underneath my hair not on the top part of my hair so you just don't see it visibly growing out because it's all underneath it's balayaged underneath as well so it's still quite subtle so that's why it is lighter on the ends and not at the root but then i also because of my grays i have my roots done as well so yeah if you just let your hairdresser know that it's basically like balayage highlights underneath the top hairline like we went up quite far up today but there's still like this much of my hair is just like my own color yeah if you take this video into your hairdresser they'll probably be able to see what's going on so yeah sadly i couldn't take you guys with me this morning but this is this is kind of what we've got going on that is what we do and i do have it toned every four weeks as well so you don't ever really see the blonde really like beaming on through and it also helps with how warm my hair is as well but yeah let me know if you would like a full like come to the hairdressers with me video yeah sadly i woke up so late this morning so that did not happen but let me know if it's something you guys would want to see but anyway since then i had a mildly traumatic incident with a cracker where i basically almost choked on it i thought it was the end i honestly was like <laughs> keeling over and <laughs> went down the wrong hole i yeah basically I just thought my time is up this is this is how i go but no i've lived to tell the tale it's great and i've also just been getting my suitcase ready and my to-do list ready because i'm going away tomorrow on a little trip a little staycation so we're going on a little staycation it's basically kind of like a hybrid of mine and lauren's birthdays even though my birthday's been and gone so in my mind it's for her birthday so i'm getting her gift ready i'm gonna give it to her early because it's not quite her birthday yet it's basically halfway between our birthdays but i'm getting her gift ready which i'm really excited about i can't show you what it is yet because i haven't given it to her and she may be editing this vlog i don't know so for anyone that doesn't know who lauren is she's my best friend but she also makes sure these videos go up because without her they would just stay on the camera and they'd never see the light of day so send her some birthday love but yeah so i'm getting her gift ready to be wrapped it's like 50 percent of the way there it just needs some wrapping paper thrown around it and yeah i'm really excited to do that and then I've also got some bits from Zara that need to go in my suitcase. So I thought I would show you those as well. So we've got a lot to crack on with. I've also just got fully ready for the day. I have put my therapy outfit on, which you wouldn't think is a thing, but I have this combination of therapy that is traditional therapy mixed with tapping, but also mixed with shiatsu massage, which is incredible. But because of that, I wear a very specific thing to therapy so that I'm not wearing like really bulky clothes for my massage. So I'll show you what I'm wearing. It's very simple, but I've literally just got this body on from zara this is one of the things that i have picked up in the order and i love this i just love the color of it it's so so gorgeous and then i've got my all saints leather look are they leather leggings or leather look leggings i think they might be leather leggings mixed with my gucci socks and fluffy white birkenstocks a look i know um i will change into maybe a boot on the bottom or a con i usually go converse because it's easier for her to like access my legs in converse that didn't sound weird at all yeah that's the kind of outfit i've been going for during the winter summer was like a little crop top and leggings just always like a pair of leggings and then something quite like thin and fitted on the top half oh and then i've just got a astrid and Mew, i believe necklace oh what is that hair doing hmm. and then i don't think i've got any other no jewelry but yeah that's what i'm wearing therapy is going well so well that she keeps being like oh we can go another few weeks without seeing each other and i'm like <laughs> i don't want to but yeah going so well i basically don't need it anymore but i just want the massage and that's that's that i'm gonna start by cracking on 
and wrapping this present. I'm excited to wrap this present. I always do really weird things on the top of people's presents. I really enjoy like the decorating of it. And uh, oh boy, did I have fun picking the topper for this year's present. <laughs> Honestly, I am such a child. Not gonna lie, I'm chuffed to bits with that. Chuffed to bits. It actually took me like two seconds to put together. The gift wrap in total wasn't that expensive. Everything was from Tesco. The Beanie Baby was the majority of the budget on the gift wrap, but it's so cute, so cute. I also got a little like white and silver leopard print, which I'm loving, which may be thrown in with my little Christmas gift wrapped color scheme. So I think I'm gonna go like white and silver this year. So the leopard print can kind of be thrown in. I think that could be quite cool. We'll see, we'll see, I might regret that. But we are gonna crack on with my packing for staycation. We're staying in Oxford. The temperature is about 13 degrees there. It's just gonna be cloudy, no rain. We're going to Soho Farmhouse. The dress code is very casual. We don't really need too much in terms of like dressy outfits, uh, which is great. So I think it's gonna be a lot of like leggings, jeans, boots, a fine knit top, a body like this, and then a really nice jacket. Like I said, I picked up a few bits from Zara and I have to say, I think it may be my strongest, smallest, but strongest Zara haul of the season. I'm really happy with everything, I'm really excited. I'm excited for you to see me wear everything as we go throughout this video. But I basically mapped out my uh, packing list. Basically a lot of black high necks, black boots, black leather leggings, black leggings. Oh, and I mustn't forget, my swim stuff. Don't let me forget my swim stuff. So we're gonna start off with the black Zara shirt. Love this, it's gonna be for dinners. Also packing my knitted high neck jumper from Topshop. Just a really nice easy little one. And then I'm also going to take black leggings. These are from Bali, love them. My black jeans. These are the Topshop Sydney jeans looking a little bit faded i should probably pick up some like really dark black jeans at some point soon then we've got a body from pretty little thing which really does need a limp roller but that's fine because there's one in the suitcase basically just like black bodies and black high roll necks are my go-to at this time of year they're great on their own if you want to layer them up if you're chillier they layer really well as well we've also got i might pack this i'm not sure just as in case the top gets dirty, I don't know. It's basically the roll neck version of this body. This is from New Look. I have a lot of these in different colors, basically. I need to find a cream one because that would go very well with something that I picked up from Zara. Let's see if I can find the cream version, but they're basically like a really great little ribbed knit. They come in a set of three, which is very handy and very good value for money. I have the black one, which is definitely coming with me as well. Black crop top. I just really like having some of these are fresh out the wash and they are inside out and fluffy as hell because i accidentally left a zara tag in one of my items and then put it in the wash and that will teach me not to take the tag out of things won't it i honestly i'm so sorry i feel like i have actually like word vomited at the camera so far today and would you believe that i haven't even had a coffee I'm not sure what's wrong with me i'm probably gonna burn out in like 20 minutes but yeah black crop i basically just like all of my basics to come with me and then you can build an outfit on top of them but they're just so good for like when you're kind of like in a casual setting lounging around and you don't really want to think about your outfit too much but you still want to look chic just loads of black basics can't go wrong and then i've also got this little high neck jumper which you will have seen me wear in the last vlog ish I gave up vlogging in London, didn't I? So actually, I don't know if you will have seen me in this. But I've had this for years. It's from ASOS. And it's just a really lovely knit. I'm really struggling to find ones that are like this. The closest I've got is my black long sleeve knit from Zara. But it's not a high neck. And the high neck is great because it doesn't come up very high at all. And then thinking about packing my Balenciaga beanie, but I'm not sure. I may also take the Burberry scarf. Yeah. Maybe. Yeah. I think I'm gonna take that. So I think other than the leather look leggings that I'm wearing, those are all my basics that I already own that I'm taking. The only other thing is I might throw in a pair of light blue denim to go with one of my jackets. We've got black high neck, black skinnies, brown knit, leather trousers, black shirt, leggings, leggings, 
more leggings. I'm gonna do pajamas shortly as well, but I need to decide on those. I'm not sure. I'm gonna see how much space I have left in the suitcase and then I'm gonna do pajamas because it will depend on whether I can take my big like Nike tracksuit as my pajamas or if I need to go for something a little bit more like minimal. Okay, and now I have some things that I've just recently picked up that are still kind of like boxed and bagged and that I want to take on this trip. So I'm thinking this jumper in the gorgeous like pine green from new look would be such a great one you'll see me wearing this tomorrow i think i'm gonna wear this on the way up there i really like this sweater because uh not only is the color gorgeous but it's a thinner sweater and i really like that for this time of year but also actually during winter because this is the kind of item that layers very well whereas if you've got a really chunky sweatshirt that's very like fleecy on the inside it's lovely to wear it on its own but actually layering it under coats and things like that awful so i think this one i will actually get a lot of wear out of really really cute i love that color i literally want everything in this color at the moment and then i just got a two pack of leggings just kind of like thinner cotton ones these ones are great just to throw on with big oversized sweatshirts but moving on to some bits from zara we have got you can tell i've already been through this order and ransacked it because i'm wearing one item for a minute we have got the neutral version of the body that i'm wearing right now these bodies are great i have one in black as well which i think you've already seen me wear i need to find that one i don't know where it's gone it might be in the wash but yeah the new one actually the nude one is going to go with the jacket that i have so this is definitely coming with me it's so cute really really like that such a nice neutral color and then i also have it in a like white ecru kind of color i'm not sure if it's a true white it's like a creamy white um i got both of these in a small and they were 11.99 so really nice and affordable lovely color selection in my opinion love this this is like autumn so yeah very happy with those those are going to be great basics i do feel like i could go through and refine the amount of basics i'm taking with me so i'll probably keep a couple of darker bodies back for our evenings and then the lighter colors for day i guess but just in case i drop something down i do think it's better to take a few more basics than you need i also picked up this jumper i don't know if i'm going to take this with me because i'm not going away for a week and i need to make sure i don't pack like that this time because i would quite like to fit some shoes in the suitcase this time around but i picked up this cashmere jumper which is so gorgeous I think it's listed as like a undyed wool, undyed cashmere wool. What was I saying? Why, am I, why did I say wool? It's a really gorgeous colour. Really, really beautiful. It reminds me of like a high-end version of this jumper that I have from Pretty Little Thing that I got in like 2018. This is super like thin. I actually wear it more in the spring than any other time. It snags like a biatch. But this one actually feels a little bit more sturdy. It's a much thicker knit, but it's still has like a sheerness to it. So I think it's quite breathable, but keeps you really nice and snuggly at the same time. And I just love the color. So jacket number one that I picked up from Zara is this gorgeous little one. I got it in a size small, it was 59.99. It's actually quite thick. It's longer than I was expecting it to be, but I think it could be okay. On the inside, it's like quilted. I think it's so cute. This is really not gonna do it justice, but I think it's so, cute this with like a little pair of black boots is gonna be the cutest they've rolled up the sleeves and i just think that's such a cute little touch it's nice and thick as well it's like it looks like a jacket but like long but it's not as thin as you'd expect it to be really really cute obviously this top just does not really go with it but this with like a high neck black top and then i have new beanie i've been wanting a black one i really wanted the black version of my chanel beanie when i saw they did it but i just can't that's that's something so silly to have two of and i actually thought that a plain black one would always do me very well so I'll pick this up i think it'll be so cute with that jacket like yeah yeah so i love that and i think if we maybe do a swim as well it's good to have some beanies to hand just in case i have hair that's a little bit like I also picked up this one in this gorgeous like biscuit tone. I love this colour. I think it will work so well in my wardrobe. I actually don't have one in this colour either. I have like a light pink, a grey and then I have my tan Balenciaga one but I don't have one in this colour and it's a colour that runs through my wardrobe very heavily so I think it's good to have a little beanie to match and I thought it would go really well with this jacket which I am not going to try on yet because... 
it's gonna ruin this. So I will show you it when I wear it. But it is the most stunning aviator coat. I had one a bit like this from Zara a few years back, but it was so thin and almost like a bit stiff and cardboard like it was very strange and because it was so thin i just found i didn't wear it like the times when i want to wear an aviator coat or when it is cold and it just really wasn't working for me whereas this one is so thick and like all snuggly lining so gorgeous and then the most gorgeous like e-crew tones so it's not a white it's not quite like a, a cream the fur is definitely a cream yeah so gorgeous and i just thought it would work really beautifully with the hat with this body underneath oh, yeah this is gonna work very very well for me so i'm so excited to take that with me and to wear it that's kind of like my little mini winter zara haul i'm so happy with everything i feel like it's real quality stuff like i'm really really happy with all of it and then unlike anything else that i have in my wardrobe i think it's going to inject a little bit of fun into the items that i already have really spicing up a lot of the basics that i already owned so i think that's pretty much everything oh and then my leather leggings kind of taken out for it from day to night i can swap out like regular leggings for my leather leggings yeah and i think we're done and then i just need to add in skincare makeup oh yeah shoes so i'm thinking i can't leave the house without these so go with this jacket i kind of want to wear a black pair of boots I'm thinking these babies, which I have never worn before, but they're from All Saints. I used to have the Topshop version and then All Saints kindly sent me these as a gift, I think maybe last Christmas. And I haven't worn them yet, but I think they would actually be a really nice item to pair with the coat. So I think those will be my black boots of choice. And then I'm gonna go a pair of trainers and maybe some walking trainers if I can fit them in. Walking trainers, very boring. And then to drive there and back, I'm thinking, my gucci trainers because i've got the green sweater on the way there and these are so busted up and so broken in that they will be very comfy to drive in oh i am actually not driving <laughs> i don't even need to worry about this so used to driving everywhere now yeah so i think fingers crossed that is all going to fit we'll see we will see <laughs> almost there this side is looking a little bit more done but this side is equally very done so over here i just need to see if i can squidge some pajamas in we have everything all of my tops and swimsuits all rolled up my underwear my sacks then over here i'm going to be throwing my skincare in around here makeup hair stuff is underneath and then i've just got to like wedge all the shoes in shoes my bags coats are going out of the uh, suitcase because each coat would need a side and we do not have that much room but we do have a whole boot to fill so it's looking good i'm now gonna head off to my therapy session relaxation mode activated <laughs> Good morning everybody, I am packed, I'm ready to roll, and I am running on time, who would have thought? So whilst I have a little bit of time, I thought I'd show you my travel outfit of the day. So you will have seen me show you this yesterday, but I have the green new look jumper on, which I would say size up, I got a medium, and I really like the fit of it, like the elastic is just tight enough so that it can sit across my like hips and bum, which is where I quite like my sweatshirts to sit, it sits really nicely. It looks like a very regular fit on the website, like when you see the model wearing it, it's almost like quite tight to her body and then worn like straight but this is as i was hoping it would be you can make it like more of a slouchy fit if you just go up a size could probably have done this if i'd got a small as well but it's just i wasn't sure with the way it looked on the website it looked very like straight up and down like regular fit it definitely didn't look like the standard like oversized fit that sweatshirts come in now yeah and then i've got the black cotton leggings on i've been folding clothes on the floor so it's probably a little bit fluffy and then i'm wearing my gucci trainers and for jewelry i have my Fendi hoop earrings, a little diamond necklace that Ryan got me for my birthday, and then my Raimi, I think this is the Erin necklace, or is it the bracelet that's the Erin bracelet? I can't remember, but I have the matching bracelet on somewhere as well. But yeah, love this necklace, and the two pair really nicely together. I've just got my aloe yoga jacket, which I love, just in case things are a little bit chilly, and my Chanel bag, and then I've got my suitcase all ready to go. <laughs> Oh 
Have you been outside yet? I'm trying to get out, but I promise with you. If I get in there, I'm not getting out. <laughs> <laughs> Everybody. So we arrived at farmhouse yesterday evening and had to quickly rush to dinner, which was so good. We had dinner in the main barn, lots of wine, had fried aubergine, it was so good. And now this morning we are headed to get a coffee, gonna get some lunch after. I haven't showed you my outfit yet, but it is really cute. Had a slight disaster with my black and white outfit that I was meant to be wearing. The boots need to be like ridged on the bottom so i can't wear it yet um very very annoying because the whole outfit rode on the shoes but it's fine we move i have spare outfits and i'm wearing this one today which is the zara coat zara body top shop little black skinny jeans and then my fendi boots such a cute outfit oh and my chanel 19 bag i'll get a full shot of it in a second oh the goats aren't out today oh, i miss the goats We'll see them later. But yeah, we're off to get a coffee because the coffees here are elite. If you get like a mocha, they make it with real chocolate. So good. And then we're off for lunch at Hay Barn, which is like nice Italian y kind of bits. I'm here, I always have to come say hello to these boys. Morning! How are you doing? They look a bit grumpy today. I don't think they like the fact that it's been raining. So this is my outfit for a little walk this afternoon. I've just got on a lounge set. Lounge set, activewear set from And Other Stories, which I love. It's like this ribbed, oatmeal-y kind of colour and texture. It's really, really lovely. And then I've got my aloe yoga jacket on, which I just love. It's so snuggly and they look so cute together. And then just got my Nike trainers on. Super, super comfy, great for after I've just eaten. My food baby is very comfortable right now. Oh, and then I've got my summer on, sunnies on. Mainly more as a hair accessory than anything else. So we have had a lovely lunch. We're back at the room. I thought I'd show you my outfit before I change into something a little bit more comfy for a walk. So yeah, like I said earlier, I've got the Zara jacket. This is what it looks like. It's a little bit longer on me in terms of an aviator and sometimes not always the most flattering, but I think for a really nice, big, thick, cozy winter jacket slash coat because this is quite thick. It's really, really nice and it's kept me so, so warm. Everyone has been saying how cold it is and I have not felt cold in this at all. So really, really happy with this jacket. And then I've got the body on underneath, which I'm loving. These are really great bodies, really affordable. And I love the color of this one. I think it goes really, really nicely with the jacket. And I feel like this is a fluffy jacket that might shed a little bit. So it's nice to wear like a lighter color underneath. I have a feeling if I wore black underneath this, it might end up looking very fluffy by the end of the wear. I've then got my Topshop Sydney jeans on and my Fendi boots. Yeah, that is it. Really, really love this one. Um, very, very cozy. I think I'm gonna get a lot of wear out of this jacket. But yeah, now it's time to change into something that is a little bit more accommodating on my food baby. Also, how gorgeous is our room? I think I've showed you the main room in the cabin, but this is mine and my friend Nay's room. So, so beautiful. I am obsessed with these lamps. They are gorgeous. I'm looking forward to popping into the home section here tomorrow. They've got a little home store and seeing if they've got any of the pillows that I love from Soho Home that are out of stock on the website. I'm also looking forward to getting into this tub later because this is 
so exciting to me. I actually haven't had a bath in ages and I've been really craving one, so really looking forward to jumping in this, hopefully later. This is my outfit of the evening for dinner. Sorry, I don't have a better mirror to show you in. This is literally what I'm working with in this room. So I'm wearing my black Zara shirt and then my All Saints leather look leggings, my Fendi boots, Chanel bag, and then my Raimi necklace, Carrie Elizabeth necklace, all my usual jewelry, my Fendi earrings. I also have a couple of Surat eyeshadows on, which are just giving a little bit of like iridescent shimmer to my eyes which i really really like and then i have anastasia beverly hills crush and pure hollywood layered up and then kkw love lip liner on and i'm really enjoying this combo and then i've just powdered and not really touched up the rest of my makeup just going quite like cash for dinner Good morning everybody, it is our last morning at Farmhouse. I'm wearing a nice snuggly little outfit. So I've got my black Topshop knit on and then my Varley leggings. These are just kind of like a very plain, like matte effect pair of leggings. My Fendi boots, I know you can't see it very well. Yeah, this is the main bulk of the outfit. Then my Saint Laurent sunnies and then my Chanel bag. So this is the outfit. Ignore the clay pigeon shooting. The boots, leggings, which have fluff on them. The knit, which is really nice, like a baggy kind of knit. High neck, really cute. That is my outfit, just one big blob of black, basically. Bye room. Bye cabin number nine, bye bikes. <laughs> Today, I am just on my way to pick up a parcel from the shop. It's not too long a walk, which is fab, but admittedly not close enough for me to wear my pajamas, which I'm slightly sad about, but I'm sure all of my neighbors and the local area will be very pleased about. I feel like an outfit like this is actually quite an achievement for me on a Monday. I'm wearing the Zara jacket, which I sadly didn't get a chance to wear whilst I was away, but I'm gonna make up for that now. I've just thrown it on with my black ASOS scarf. Um, everyone asks about this. It's probably not the best quality. It's probably not the best black scarf you can find. I'm pretty sure Zara do like really gorgeous soft ones. This one's not particularly soft at all. It's really, really basic, but I've had it for years and a black scarf is a black scarf. So I've just never really got rid of it, upgraded it or anything like that. Underneath I have the ASOS just high neck fine knit jumper and then my Varley leggings and then my black converse just for 
comfort really. I also have first day hair so we're doing a little hair tuck. I'm so excited to be back doing hair tucks after having a bob last year. My hair would not tuck. Oh and then I obviously have my Chanel bag which I've just thrown on because it's black and it looks cute with the outfit. And then in terms of makeup it's my usual shebang. No eyeliner today though and then Kylie lip kit in the shade Bear. And then I also have a little bit of, it's actually, Bear is quite a pinky colour really weird the lip kits actually really surprised me none of them are as nude as i really thought that they would be like none of the nudes are very nude all very very pinky toned which is kind of surprising but kind of nice but then to make it more nude i put anastasia beverly hills naked in the center of my lip and i'm wearing vive muse velvet sans lip liner i think that's what it's called i always want to call it velvet teddy but that, that is the wrong brand no jewelry no earrings really just my apple watch strap which is from amazon uh, but sadly sold out they basically do it now in a like that different colored like oil effect you know the knives and forks i have that kind of like bright colors basically rainbow or black i believe so nothing cute like this it's gone i don't think it's coming back guys if it ever does come back i will be the first to let you know believe me also you guys I have a really sad thing to tell you and this is me being really over dramatic but i'm really really upset I lost my favourite tiny little diamond necklace whilst I was at Farmhouse. If anyone's at Farmhouse and they just happen to find it, it's mine. Please can I have it back? I've obviously emailed their team, but it's so small. I don't think anyone's ever going to find it. And I'm really, really sad about it. I was basically like editing the vlog back this morning where I show you my outfit, my day one outfit, and I'm wearing the necklace and I was just like crying. I actually realised on Friday night after I'd come back from Ryan's mum's birthday party, I was slightly intoxicated and i realized then that i'd lost it we've checked all of the vlog footage and i definitely lost it at farmhouse you can see when it's not on my neck anymore and yeah i was basically walking around the house weeping probably the worst moment when i could have found out that i'd lost it but yeah i'm really sad so if you see me not wearing it that's why i'm really really sad and i can't talk about it anymore i know things are there to be used and people are there to be loved but i really did love that necklace okay so sad times be right back gonna just go pick up my parcel and shed some tears no actually i'm joking but I am sad, really, really sad about it. So if anyone does find it, I would love it back. Just having one of those moments where I've realized I haven't really thought through the fact that this could be a big package and I am on foot. I do not have the car, pray for me. It's fairly big, but not the worst. Let's pray my arms don't fall off. That was really dramatic. My arms are obviously not gonna fall off. And let me tell you, I am sweating. <laughs> I always get so warm when I walk and then I come into my house and it's like feels like a furnace. Yeah, I'm back. I've actually just been sorting through my post that arrived whilst I was away, which is <laughs> the most mammoth task, which I'll show you in a second. I quickly wanted to show you my new cushion, which I actually got whilst I was at Soho Farmhouse. So I felt like I had to include it in this vlog and it is so cute. Guys, ignore the fact that Nala has just rolled all over my bed. But anyway, this is my new pillow. I think she has also tried to sit on this because that's not where it should be <sighs> honestly why do i try basically nala likes to make her way into this middle bit and she just ruins all of my lovely work this is from soho home which i love looking at that section when i go to farmhouse they also have it online as well i'm not sure if this is sold out online i love it i think it is so gorgeous and i really like the fact that if you want to you can turn it around as well and i think that will be really cute if we change the bed at some point because that might be happening and i also changed my cushion covers which were ikea like plain white ones and i put these zara ones on which i've had for ages and i really like them i think they work really nicely with all of the fluffy cushions and then this as well they tie in really nicely but this also works kind of with the fluffiness too i just love it so yeah really happy with these wish my bedroom was tidier but you can't win them all anyway Onto to the mess that is my kitchen let me just when people ask me how i keep my house so tidy this is why i laugh because it actually looks like this most of the time yeah i've just been sorting through a lot of deliveries we've got a gorgeous package that has arrived from by killian this fragrance is called angels share i'm really shaky by the way because i've just come in from a walk i'm tired and it's half 11 in the morning but yeah anyway this fragrance is just incredible the theme of all of these fragrances is like after party kind of like vibes so like you're sitting with your brandy after like a party and they've sent these glasses too which i love because these are like some of my favorite kinds of glassware and yeah they sent through some apple brandy which i've never had before so i don't know if that's weird that i've never had that but i'm excited to try it but anyway this particular fragrance angel share i just smelt it and it is just 
incredible it is so beautiful and the bottles are gorgeous as well like really inspired by that kind of cut glass crystal which i just love this is really beautiful i can't quite pick up the notes yet really quite sweet almost like a toffee apple really really beautiful that's my kind of fragrance and then there's one that's actually called apple brandy they also have one called roses on ice which i think is so cool um i don't think i'd love it as much i think that one's gonna be a bit of me to be honest but mm. okay that one's a lot fresher still a bit apple but like fresher whereas this one is like sweeter and more like maybe vanilla -y and musky yeah really excited about that i also had a little delivery from my friend lily you can't see this very well because my skylight is reflecting lots of you may have seen her instagram she does glitter prints she also does the most incredible art in addition to her prints some of you might remember she is the genius behind this piece of artwork in my kitchen which i just love but yeah she is the genius behind this piece of art i'm hoping to just have a house full of her art at some point there's a space that i would love for her to fill anyway she does her glitter prints and she has done one of my mum my mum hates this photo but she probably is going to call me and tell me off for showing you this but the original photo is so cool like, i just absolutely love it she's wearing like those kind of like aviators that everyone is wearing at the moment that are like a lighter color like that kind of like orangey color in the center that 80s 90s fashion has really come back around yeah actually this would have been this is 90s because that's me in her tummy but yeah so she's done a really gorgeous glitter print of my mum and it's my favorite photo of my mum because it's such a such a vibe but she's also done a really lovely one of the two of us which is a present for my mum which i won't show you because i don't want her to see it before i go to her and she she watches the vlogs it's just got the most gorgeous glitter on it i absolutely love it so she does these glitter prints on her website and they are incredible she does a lot of like wedding photos which is my dream i cannot wait for the day that i maybe get to have one of those myself any photos just look really gorgeous when she adds the glitter to them but the reason i wanted to show you that is because she's actually given me a discount code i will put it on screen and hopefully it will be live from today if not it will be live from tomorrow so if you want to get anyone anything for like a christmas present go check her website out if you want to use my code use it there's absolutely no obligation this isn't like a spawn or anything she was just like do you want a code and i was like oh my god yes i think you guys would love that if you wanted to get one but yeah i'll leave all of her details in the info box below and thank you so much to her for doing that for my mom i think she'd actually give her right arm for this piece of artwork my mum is the biggest lily fan ever to the point where she's already seen that print on lily's instagram and called me hopefully she will love it i then also have a very big adenola order that i need to work through yeah so many things to sort through so i came into my bedroom for one thing and i've now gone into full sort my life out mode got my lovely cozy jumper from zara i love this jumper so much it's even like a really nice length on me not too long not too short like not cropped I feel like we can really all appreciate that. It's so gorgeous. Best jumper purchase in a while. And it also matches my <laughs> Gucci socks really well, which is probably the most ridiculous thing I'll ever say. And you can fully rinse me for that. I really don't mind. They look so cute together though. <laughs> but I'm going to pop my slippers on as well for a really chic look. This is me in true, like, get your shiz together mode. The hair is in a bun. The hair is in a bun, people. Finally goes into a bun. I now have no excuse to not sort my parcels out. So, be right back. Insert time lapse. <laughs> my tasks for the morning all that's left is for me to try on these bits from Adenola which I have ordered and need to make sure they fit but I I haven't done a talk on the bed in ages this feels like a real throwback I would love to know basically I was watching vlogmases yesterday not mine other people's from previous years I've never really done that before I know all of you do it because you tell me that you do it with my videos and I've never really done that but I actually started doing it and I was like I want to vlogmas right now it's november so i'm aware slightly premature but i was wondering do you guys still want that because i'm so aware that when i started youtube and when you all started watching me we were all like fresh little fetuses that had i would say a lot of spare time and i feel like we don't all have the same amount of spare time as we used to anymore so basically what i'm wondering is do we want vlogmas can you guys let me know but i am really in the mood right now i just worry that i will struggle 
halfway through because basically I've been th I've been doing a lot of thinking can you tell I was slightly hungover over the weekend and a little bit bored story of my life sometimes I feel that it was easier in the beginning when you start vlogmas thing or just like vlogging a lot doing youtube in general and you're younger and you don't really overthink the things that you share you just you really do things without thinking and sometimes it comes back to bite you um but you don't really question if what you're saying has as much value as i feel like i do now i feel every year the longer i do youtube the older i get the more i try to make sure that what i'm saying has value or is useful or borderline entertaining but i used to just talk at the camera and not really even second guess anything and i guess that's something that you do a lot when you're young anyway or i know i did but yeah i feel like it's harder to share the older I get and I don't know if that is something that everyone feels or just something that I am feeling but I notice a lot of other creators the more they do YouTube the more they're like oh my walls are going up and I'm finding it hard to share so I do feel like it does get harder every year but I am kind of in the mood for it this year so it wouldn't be every day for sure because uh, I'm not that kind of girl but yeah sometimes I just think god I don't have that much to say every day like i'll probably be spouting the same stuff to ryan tomorrow morning as i was this morning and do we want that let me know <laughs> but yeah if you could all let me know if you'd be up for it if not no worries it's, i'm really not gonna take it personally if you could let me know if you'd be up for watching and if so how often i would love to know but yeah that is where i'm gonna leave it me and my slippers are gonna leave you now i hope you all enjoyed this video love you bye